This video describes the steps you should follow to restart the X-Clarity controller without a system reboot. Restarting the X-Clarity controller from its homepage. Log in to the X-Clarity controller web interface using the X-Clarity controller IP address. Click Login. Scroll down the page and click Power Action in the Quick Actions section. From the Power Action menu, select Restart Management Controller. A pop-up window will open asking, do you want to restart Management Controller? Click OK to continue. The X-Clarity Controller will begin the restart process. The web interface will be unavailable for connection during the restart process. When the BMC reset process is complete, the web browser will return to the X-Clarity controller login window. Restarting the X-Clarity controller with BMC control commands. Run PuTTY as the root user or administrator. Make sure that the connection type SSH is selected. Type the XCC IP address in the hostname column. Click Open. Log in to the XCC with the username and password. Type Help. This will display a list of the available commands. Reset SP and SP Reset are the available commands to reset the BMC. Run the Reset SP or SP Reset commands to reset the BMC. You can close the PuTTY console window after you see the message The system is going down for system halt now. Ping the XCC IP address until it's back up. After that, you may access the XCC web interface. Restarting the X-Clarity controller with IPMI commands. Click Network under BMC Configuration to view or modify the X-Clarity controller IPMI settings. Click the Service Port Quick Link and modify the IPMI over LAN field. Click the switch to enable IPMI network access to the X-Clarity controller. Run the following command as the root privilege to reset the XCC. After the reset command is sent, it may take some time to reset the XCC. Ping the XCC IP address until you get a proper response, and then log in to the XCC web interface. Here is the other command to reset the XCC. Once complete, ping the XCC IP address until you get a proper response. You can then log in to the XCC web interface. 